हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री टाइम्स एक्स टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन प्लस टू टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर दिस इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड हियर वी विल फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हियर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन एंड हियर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन इफ वी सब्सिट्यूट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन दिस इज इक्वल्स टू वाई देन द गिवन एक्सप्रेशन इज वाई स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री टाइम्स एक्स y plus two times x square and this is equals to zero. Now, in left hand side, this expression is factorizable. But how? Look carefully. Y square here if we subtract minus x square and add x square and then three times x y plus two times x square and this is equals to zero. Now. This is difference between two squares. This is same as y plus x times y minus x. And here x square and this is two times x square. So this is three times x square and plus three times x y. And this is equals to zero. Now y plus x times y minus x. Plus, look carefully these two terms. Here, if we take common, three times x, then y plus x, and this is equals to zero. Now, in left hand side, here y plus x, and here y plus x. So, if we take common y plus x, then y minus x plus three times x, y minus x plus three times x, and this is equals to zero. Y plus x times Y minus x plus three times x is plus two times x, and this is equals to zero. Now in left hand side we have product of two expressions. So we can say if a times b this is equals to zero, this implies a is equals to zero or b is equals to zero. So this expression y plus x is equals to zero or Y plus two times x. This is equals to zero. Then here we can say y is equals to negative x, and here y is equals to negative two times x. We have two cases. Let us consider this is case first, and this is case second. We know that x square plus one. This is equals to y. Now x square plus one. This is equals to y. And case first is y is equals to minus x. So Y is equals to minus x. This is case first. Then x square plus one, and this is equals to y is replaced by minus x. Now if we add both side x, then in left hand side x square plus x plus one. This is equals to zero. Here we have a quadratic equation, so we will apply quadratic formula. Value of a is one, and value of b is one, and value of c is one. And we know that quadratic formula is x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus four times ac and divided by two times a. Then x is equals to minus and b is replaced by one plus minus square root of b is replaced by one one is square minus four times value of a is one and c is one. Then divided by two times a is one. Then x is equals to minus one plus minus square root of One square is one minus four times one is minus four. So here one minus four and divide by two times a. And here we know that a is one, so two times one is two. Then x is equals to minus one plus minus. This is square root of minus three. And we know that square root of minus three same as square root of three times iota. So here is square root of three times iota and divide by two. So here we have two solutions. This is imaginary solutions. Now. X square plus one. This is equals to y. And case second is y is equals to minus two times x. So here y is equals to minus two times x. X square plus one. And this y is replaced by minus two times x. If we take all the expression in same side, then x square plus two times x plus one. This is equals to zero. In left hand side, we have a perfect square expression. This is x plus one whole square. This is equals to zero, and we know that if a square is equals to zero, this implies a is equals to zero. So we can say if x is 
x plus 1 whole square this is equals to 0 so that's why x plus 1 this is equals to 0 and here value of x is minus 1. Now we have three solutions, two imaginary solutions and one is a real solution. This is our final answer. I hope you enjoy this video. See you in the next video. Till then take care and bye bye.